Efforts are also underway to seat a jury in the Karen Reed case. Good afternoon. I'm Paula Eben. The panel is almost entirely in place now. WBZ's Anna Myler is at the courthouse in Dedham with the latest details. There's a chance that jury selection could wrap up today, but the attorneys are working with a much smaller pool of jurors as they seek five more people who have not yet formed an opinion on this very public case. Some of Karen Reed's supporters stood in the rain this morning to welcome her to Norfolk County Superior Court, where day three of jury selection is now underway. Of the 85 prospective jurors in yesterday's pool, 58 had heard of or discussed the case, and 24 had already formed an opinion on it. 12 said they felt biased toward one side or the other. Still, seven jurors were seated yesterday, meaning there are now 11 total jurors of the 16 needed. That's a pretty high percentage compared to most cases. You know, most cases that enter the courtroom, uh, potential jurors know nothing about. So when the majority of people already know about the case, it's kind of hard to not have an opinion one way or another, given the polarizing nature of the case. This case has drawn intense public interest, with groups of people regularly showing up to court to support Reed, believing that she is the victim of a police cover-up. Prosecutors will try to prove Reed is guilty of hitting and killing her boyfriend, Boston police officer John O'Keefe, and leaving him to die in a blizzard outside the home of another Boston police officer in Canton. The highly anticipated trial could get underway next week if five more jurors are selected. That might give the judge incentive to really do her best to seat five jurors without allowing challenges for cause. Uh, obviously, she has no control over peremptory challenges, but she's going to do her best to make sure that this jury gets set tomorrow. There is a pool of just 57 jurors in court today, a much smaller number than the near 90 for the past two days. If 12 jurors and four alternates aren't selected by today, this process could spill over to next week. In Dedham, I'm Anna Myler, WBZ News. And we will stream the Karen Reed trial live. Once opening statements get underway, we'll be streaming it on CBS News Boston and Pluto TV. You can also stream an in-depth look at the history of the case right now on the WBZ YouTube page.